Hi, Cancer. We are going to do your love reading for November. So this is a timeless read. Whenever you find the reading, it's for you. But I will be focusing on the energy right now surrounding you and the energy of November. All right. This is Bunny here. Welcome to my sacred space of love and healing. I hope you're doing well. Let's dive right in. All right. I'm going to be starting with the Light Sears Tarot. Excuse me. All right. What does my beautiful Cancers need to know? I've already cleansed your space with my sound bell. And I saged the whole entire house and Palo santo before I did the reading. So I also took a shower and saged myself. So, you know, we are starting out with a clean, beautiful energy in this space. And I replaced all the positive energy, all of the negative energy with some Palo Santo. So we have all new positive energy. All right, what do we need to know for cancer? What does my beautiful watery cancers need to know about the person on their mind, the person that's in their energy field right now? That card wanted to come out, but it didn't, so we're just going to keep shuffling. And if it comes out, then it's yours. What does Cancer need to know about the person on their mind, the person in their energy field right now? Okay, we have Strength, which is Leo energy. So some of you could be dealing with a Leo. All right, what else do we have here? What else does Cancer need to know about this person on their mind and in their energy fields? Two of Wands. Four of Wands. There's a lot of Wands here, so the energy is shifting. I don't know where it's shifting yet, but seven of pentacles. All right, let's get one more card and then we're going to start trying to interpret this energy. Three of Pentacles. Okay, there's a lot of confusion here, Cancer. So, could be one of two things. Your person could be a Leo. You could be dealing with a Leo. Or, you've had to be really strong about something. I do see... <laughs> So we have two of wands next to the strength card. There's something that you've been really, really yearning for, okay? With this two of wands and the way this female is looking out the window, it's like there's this energy of very strong yearning, wanting, waiting for something, right? And then we have four of wands. So it's like the energy of celebrating something good happening. This is also the card of like weddings and celebrations, right? Then we have seven of pentacles, which is this energy of like waiting very patiently for something to happen. So it shows me that while you're having a really great time in life, there's still this energy of like waiting for something to happen that hasn't quite happened yet, if that makes sense. 
And it's like, I see that you're not waiting around. I see that you're out having fun. You know, there, this is the energy of merriment, dancing and happiness. But at the same time, even though you're living your life to the fullest, there's this feeling of waiting for something to happen. Something that you you have been expecting, which didn't quite turn out how you wanted it to, if that makes sense. So, you know, it's it's waiting on the seeds to sprout. It's waiting, yearning, looking, hoping, but... Then we have the Three of Pentacles. And I don't like the Three of Pentacles because it's usually the energy of like, you know, too many, too many people in the pot. So let's dive deeper into this. Why do we have the Three of Pentacles here, please? Like, depending on what comes out, Three of Pentacles could be like, you know, too many energies in this, in this situation. So like, you know, you, an ex, a new lover, it's just like, it's a big cluster fuck. It could be the card of infidelity too. That's why I don't like it. But we're going to dive deep into it and see what's going on. Three of Pentacles. Why do we have the Three of Pentacles here? Why do we have the Three of Pentacles, please? Why am I slouching? I need to stick set up so my back hurts. Can you tell me about the Three of Pentacles? Why do we have the Three of Pentacles here for Cancer, please? Star. So, in this case, the Three of Pentacles is about collaboration and working together. So you've been hoping that this something was going to work out with someone, that you guys were going to be able to get together and cooperate energetic-wise, but it, it didn't happen for some reason, right? Like there was this yearning of wanting to, to have a partnership and to work with someone and to cooperate with them and to, to share energy with someone, right? Right? romantic wise and you're still holding on to that hope okay let's dive into this and so why did this not come about for cancer the person on cancer's mind Ooh, that card flew it flew it flew nine of cups your wish should, could possibly still come true. I feel like this person still has feelings for you, Cancer. We have the Nine of Cups, which shows me that they're wishing for you just as hard as you're wishing for them. I just, just don't understand why this didn't work out. Like, it's not giving me a clear answer as to why. It feels like you both are desiring the same thing. The Nine of Cups is a wish fulfillment right? You feel like this person is your wish fulfilled. Ace of Swords. So the Ace of Swords is about clarity and communication. So someone is going to get clarity and communication, right? If your person hasn't communicated with you, the bird here, the Ace of Swords, it's the card of communication. So it's possible that your person will come in and communicate with you. There's obviously a reason why this didn't go forward, even though you both pretty much have feelings. You're both, look, we got the Star and the Nine of Cups. Both feelings of hoping, hoping, wishing for something. And then we have clarity. So if your person haven't, hasn't stepped forward up yet, Cancer, I feel like they will. There's going to be some sort of clarity for the both of you, okay? All right, let's get one final card and then we're moving on. What else does Cancer need to know about this connection with this person? What's going to happen when they communicate with each other? Six 
seven of wands. So there could be some possible conflict, right? This person may not... It feels like your person may be confused about this connection just as much as you are. So they may not be in a full, oh God, how do I put this? They may not be in a full, um, energetic state to cooperate with you right away. The seven of wands could be a card of like feeling defensive. So either you or this person is feeling very defensive. Okay. So it could be your energy or, or your person's energy. Someone is feeling defensive in this connection. So, you know, if someone reaches out, the other person might be on the defense or vice versa. If you reach out, they might be on the defensive. If this person reaches out to you, you're, you might be on the defensive. It's just like this energy of like not trusting each other, if that makes sense. Okay. Whew, this is confusing, Cancer. <laughs> so confusing. I feel like you both don't trust each other. And that's not good. All right, what else? Oh, we'll move on to this deck. Um, you know what? No, let's see what the romance angels have to say about this connection. All right, what does Cancer need to know about this connection? The person on their mind, the person in their energy field right now. What does Cancer need to know about this connection, please? What does our beautiful watery Cancers need to know? It just feels like your person wasn't communicating clearly to you, Cancer. Or you weren't communicating clearly to them. And so now everybody is all confused. That's what it feels like to me. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how else to. Children. Your love life is being affected by children. So they may have children. You might have children. And there could be some kind of factor that is influencing how you interact with each other. Maybe they have children and they're worried about how you know, you guys are going to make it work with, you know, their children. Maybe they're worried about how you're going to fit in with their kids. Or maybe you have kids and you're wondering how they're going to fit into your life and your children's life, right? Getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost secrets. So, sorry. Well, it says as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. But... There are no accidents, right? I don't believe in accidents in the universe. And so I was going to say as you reveal your innermost secrets. So you guys might be, you know, the next time you speak with each other, and obviously you will, I predicted communication and then we get getting to know each other. So you guys might be sharing secrets with each other, stuff that you've never told anyone, anybody else, right? What else do we have for cancer? Playfulness. This is so funny. These are the exact two cards that Gemini got. I just read for Gemini. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So when this person comes in to communicate with you, Cancer, try not to be so um, uptight. Allow your playful, beautiful, fun self to shine. You know, be flirty. This person needs lightness from you, not seriousness at this time, if that makes sense, okay? All right, what do we got here? All right, this is it. my spirit deck. It's just random messages, so I have no idea what's going to come out with this. So just bear with me, Cancer. What else does Cancer need to know about this person on their mind? The one who they have a deep connection with right now. The one that is keeps showing up in their energy field.
We have Virgo. So either you or this person has Virgo in their chart somewhere. Manipulative. Wow. So you could have felt manipulated by this person or maybe they felt manipulated by you. Take it how it resonates. Two more cards, please, Spirit. We have Sagittarius. So this is just showing what's in their charts. Everyone has like a rising sign, a Venus sign. You, you know, you have your Mars, um, your Ascending, your Moon, your Midheaven. This is what they could have in their charts. So we had what? Leo, Virgo, Sagittarius. So your person has a lot of fire in their chart. What else? Final card. Awakened. So your person is definitely not asleep. They're awakened, okay? And if you're watching this video, I'm guessing that you are as well, right? I doubt that anyone that's asleep <laughs> would be watching me. You know, you have to be going through a deep spiritual journey to find someone, a deep thinker like me, <laughs> right? I channel really deep stuff. All right, what else does Cancer need to know? What else do we have for Cancer, please? What else do we have for Cancer? Ooh. Okay, what else does Cancer need to know about this beautiful connection? This confusing but beautiful connection. <laughs> Divine intervention. Woof. Wow. Something scary is going <laughs> to. The divine is orchestrating all of this. You realize that, right? <laughs> the divine, the divine source of all is orchestrating this whole entire connection. Okay. We have divine intervention and magnetic attraction. So everything is being divinely guided. And your person is so attracted to you, Cancer. So attracted to you. You guys are like two magnets just boom. Slamming into each other in the best way. Look at that. Get two more cards for Cancer, please. We have the grass is greener. Somebody thought that the grass was greener on the other side, didn't they? Did your person think that the grass was greener on the other side? They thought, oh, I have I have more options than cancer. But then they, they, they realized they really didn't, right? Either you or your person felt that way. Romantic feelings, see? There is romantic feelings here. Your person has romantic feelings for you. If you think that they don't, they do. We have magnetic attraction and romantic feelings. In the middle of that, we have grass is greener. So they may have been dabbling with other options. Maybe they treated you like an option. Maybe you treated them like an option. I don't know. Somebody was treating somebody like an option here. But there's definitely romantic feelings. They are heavily attracted to you. They have really strong romantic feelings for you and this relationship is divinely guided by source look we got mystery on the bottom of the deck your person could have scorpio in their chart as well i don't know why i felt god did to pull that all right so we are going to pull a healing card for you and then an akashic record card and we're going to be done all right so what what else do we have for cancer please for cancer what do we have for cancer i'm gonna try to get leo's read in after this it's been a really long week i am so exhausted oh but you know work 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 
Cancer, we gotta work, 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 work. Just see me at the work, 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 work. <laughs> Nobody touch me in the right place. All right, so we have discover your life purpose. Oh, shoot. I almost cussed because I looked at this. Nine, it's number 29, discover your life purpose. But if you add up nine and two, it's 11. This is a twin flame connection. <clears throat> That's why the energy feels so crazy. It's so funny. Like I always start out like saying this is a general love reading. And then I'm always amazed when the twin flame number comes up, which is 11, I always say, you know, if it comes up, it means it's the twin flame connection. If not, then it's not, right? <clears throat> and it always amazes me when it comes up over and over and over again because I was initiated as a twin soul, twin flame. They're the same to me, right? The, the word twin flame, I don't like it because it's been hijacked by, you know, the darker aspects of spirituality, um, especially with the whole, you know, the new Netflix um, documentary that came out about the twin flames, which is giving anyone in the twin flame community a terrible name, right? And um, it's just been hijacked by the darker aspects of society and they don't understand it. But... So I like to use the word twin soul, but it's the same as twin flame, right? And um, I was initiated to be a twin soul reader. And so, you know, it always amazes me because I'm like, yeah, I'm a twin soul reader, but I do normal general reads and I also do general love reads. So I always go into this going, okay, this is going to be a general love read. And then boom, the twin soul number comes up and I'm like, there it is. Can't make it up. So once you discover your life purpose, you know, this is going to make your, your bond with your twin soul stronger. And it has to do with music. Your person is your muse. Look at that. They inspire you to do something with your music. Whether you sing or you play an instrument. Oh, look at that. Number 14, soulmate. Told you this was your person. I told you. There's your confirmation. Number 14, it's soulmates. If you add it up, it's five. So that means if the connection is not stable right now, it's going to be changing soon. This reading is getting too long. So let's go ahead and close it up. We're going to get one more of these cards and we're going to cash your card. What else does Cancer need to know about this connection? So this is your person. Number 13, rejection. So you may have felt rejected by this person, right? In the twin soul connection, there, there is a lot of rejection that goes along, right? You may have felt rejected from them. They may have felt rejected from you. I'm not sure how this is going to play into this reading, but... Um, if you look at it, it's number four, 13 and, or it's 13. So three and one is four. So the feeling of rejection had to come into this connection. Somebody had to feel rejected, you know, because there's always like the runner chaser dynamic, usually in the twin soul, um, dynamic. And usually when one or both of the twins feels rejected, it's because they have to heal that rejection, that fear of rejection, or that abandonment issue that usually stems from childhood. It's a trauma. And the person will often reject you when you are rejecting yourself in some way. Or, you know, you are rejecting the feeling of being loved by your person, right? It's just a wound that needs to be healed. And once you heal it, you know... You can find your way back to each other. Cancer, don't give up hope. All right. Let's pull the Kasha greeting card for you and your person. And then we are going to conclude this reading. If anything resonated, please consider liking and subscribing. It's both free for you. Comment down below so I know that you connected with me. 
I love to hear from you. And if you want to book a reading with me, just go ahead and click on the description box below my video. All the prices are down below. What is the last thing Cancer needs to know about this beautiful connection, please? We have number nine, curses. Oof. So you could have something deep in your Akashic where somebody cursed you um, in regards to love. And so you might subconsciously be feeling that, right? They may have wanted you and you didn't want them and they cursed you and said, oh, you don't want me? Well, I curse you to be in a, in a life without love. And so it might benefit you to go and release those past life curses. Nobody can really curse us unless we believe it, just so you know. All right, and then we have teacher mentor. So this person could teach you or you could teach them, right? It's a teacher mentor relationship. So either you learn things from them or they learn things from you or vice versa. In the twin soul relationship, you guys learn off each other anyways, right? Curses is number nine. And teacher mentor is number 12. This person might be a spiritual teacher or you are a spiritual teacher, okay? And this is in your Akashics. So you're meant to teach anyways. You're meant to awaken people, Cancer. And your person is probably in a similar field as you. They're probably a spiritual leader as well. A teacher. Or they could be like a teacher, a literal teacher, like teaching kids. I don't know. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this reading, Cancer. If something resonated, like I said, please let me know. I love you. Bye.